So, since yung pinag-uusapan natin, yung sample space, kailangan natin alam bilangin yung sample space. Kailangan natin yung mga methods of counting. Doon papasok yung fundamental method of counting, yung permutation, at saka yung probability. First, ano ba yung fundamental methods of counting? I can explain that with samples. For example, First, a fundamental method... First of fundamental counting rule, ang sabi lang ng fundamental counting rule, the grand event or yung totality of all events is equal dun sa product nung lahat ng events na nandoon. Again, event 1 and event 2 and event 3 and event 4. For example, in how many ways can you arrange A, B, C, D, and E? Kung arrange mo yan, sabi niya, so lahat yan pinapa-arrange niya. So, you have five slots. A, B, what, slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, slot 4. So, first slot, ilan ba yung pwede mong pagpilian? Lima. Ngayon, let's assume na pwede yung repetition. Ibig sabihin, pwede kang umulit. So, sa second slot, ilan ang pwede mong pagpilian? Lima pa rin. Lima pa rin. Lima pa rin. Lima pa rin. So, ilan ang, ilan ang possible outcome dito? Lima. And lima, and lima, and lima, and lima. So the total number of five times five times five times five times five. Next, what if naman hindi ka pwedeng umulet or without repetition? So so sure. Sa una lima. Sa pangalawa, apat. Sa pangatlo, tatlo. Then dito, dalawa. And then, isa na lang. Or yan ang tinatawag nating factorial. 5 factorial. Or 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Sa book namin, sa book ko, I discuss kung paano yung mga operation sa factorial. Topic natin will be permutation or arrangement. Hindi natin pwede i-discuss ang permutation na hindi natin binabanggit ang combination. Kailangan kasi alam yung difference ng permutation tsaka ng combination. Sa combination kasi, ang tinatanong lang dyan, sino yung nandun sa group? Ano-ano yung mga nandun sa group? Sa permutation, ang tinatanong dyan, paano mo inarrange yung loob ng group? Paano mo inarrange yung mga nandoon sa loob ng group, yung mga elements na nandoon sa loob ng group? So, yun ang difference nila. So, sa permutation na ABC, iba sa CAB. Sa combination, pareho lang sila. Kasi hindi naman nagbago yung nandoon sa loob ng group na yun. So, di... So, meron tayong permutation of different objects. Meron tayong permutation of n things taken n at a time. n things. So, meron tayong permutation of n things taken r at a time. O yung sa calculator nyo na, n pr, ang formula nyan is n factorial all over n minus star factorial. In my book, I explain paano na-deduce yung formula na yan. Or, what if n things taken n at a time? Ano ba yung sabi ng n things taken r at a time? For example, a, b, c, d, e. In how many ways can I form uh, for example, a, b, c, d, e. Diba kanina, in-arrange natin siya, pero lima ang slots. What if tatlo lang ang slots? So, they are taken r at a time. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many ways can I form 3 digit numbers? So, out of the 5, tatlo lang ang gagamitin ko. What if lahat sila gagamitin ko? So, magiging yung n, p, n, or this is n minus n nun. So, 0, 0 factorial is equals to 1. So, that is simply n factorial. Next, permutation of similar objects. What if naman mayroong magkakamuka? Kapag mayroong magkakamuka daw, kailangan lang tanggalin natin yung redundancy kung pagkakamuka nila. That permutation is simply n factorial all over q factorial 
R factorial, S factorial, da, 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 da. Ano yung Q factorial, R factorial, S factorial? Yan ay kung ilang beses lumabas bawat element. For example, let's say Philippines, in how many ways can I arrange the letters in the word Philippines? Ilan ba ang letters sa word na Philippines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 factorial. Pero, nung binira mo kasi ang 11 factorial na yan, si P at saka si P nandoon. Kahit pagbalik na rin mo sila, pareho pa rin P yan. Kasi intangible objects naman sila. So, hindi mo madidistinguish yung paning pagkakaiba. So, kailangan tanggalin mo yung dumuble. So, 1, 2, 3, may tatlo akong P, 3 factorial. H, isa lang ang H ko. So, pwede kong sulat pa rin naman yun eh. 1, one factorial. Kaya lang, 1 factorial is equal to 1. So, tanggalin na natin yan. I, 1, 2, 3. L, pwede ko rin sulat. Pero 1 factorial lang yan. N, pwede kong sulat. E, pwede kong sulat. S, pwede kong sulat. Kaya nga ang sinusulat na lang, yung merong umuulit. So, yan lang. Sagot dyan. Next, cyclical permutation. The permutation of n different things taken n at a time at a cycle. Cyclical. Paikot. Hindi naman ibig sabihin yan, dapat bilog. Basta nasa cycle sila. Cyclical permutation. Ang um, dyan is n minus 1 factorial. Sir, bakit minus 1 basta cyclical permutation? I explained that in the book, pero ang simpleng explanation niya is for example, you have A, B, C, D. Kapag inarrange mo yan, ito ba? A, B, C, D. And then A, B, C, D. Then A, B, C, D. Pare-pareho lang ba yan? O magkakaiba? Sa ating point of view, magkakaiba yan. Pero, sa point of view ng nandiyan sa element na yan, Si A, kapag ikaw si A, ang nasa right side mo si D, at ang nasa left side mo si B, at ang nasa harap mo si C. Same for, or, for all this. So, nasa cycle sila. Bakit ganun? Kasi wala pang point of reference. Sino ba yung nauna mong inupo dyan? Or sino ba yung north mo dyan? Sino ba yung south mo dyan? Sino ba yung point of reference mo dyan? So, kailangan maglagay ka muna ng point of reference. So, Kunyari si A, or yung una mong ilalagay, siya yung magiging point of reference. So, kapag meron ka ng point of reference, ina-arrange mo na lang yung tatlong natitira. Kaya nga, binabawasan mo ng isa. Yung apat sila, minus one. That's the simplify, pero pinaka-detail ko yan sa book. And then, meron rin tayong direct counting. Some permutations can be computed using direct counting na lang in simple mathematical computations. So, for example nun, how many possible two-digit numbers can I form using the numbers 1 to 8? We simplify. So, sabi natin, two-digit. So, direct counting. Two-digit numbers daw. Kamukhaan din discuss ka niya. Ilan ba sa first digit? 1 to 8 yan. So, we have 8. Ilan ba sa second digit? Kung pwede ang repetition, 8 pa rin. Kung hindi pwede ang repetition, Kasi 8 sa una, and 8 sa pangalawa. 8 sa una, and 7 sa pangalawa. So, next combination. So, kailangan lang nating malaman, out of many, out of n objects, ilan ba yung group na mapoform mo? Group of the number of R. So, combination of n different objects taken at R at a time is simply NCR equals to n factorial all over n minus r factorial r factorial pero di ba n factorial all over n minus r factorial is npr over r factorial 